Hey, welcome back Spankers out here at the Katy Trail. Check it out. I'm getting ready to ride this morning. You know, I do a lot of very important and frankly much needed videos on mug reviews, but the most viewed videos on my channel are where I have come out on the Katy Trail and ridden. So it kind of just tells you where we're at as a society today. To adhere to the public's wishes though, I am doing another video out here on the Katy Trail. I may ride to Windsor in honor of the late Queen. This is a rare public appearance of the professional dad. I am too self-conscious to record outside of my studio. Thankfully there is no one else out here to kind of see me holding up this selfie stick and talking into a, a camera out here all by myself. Am I looking at the right side? I, I try not to do this thing here where I'm looking at myself, you know. Try to look at the camera hole to make it look like I'm actually looking at the camera and not looking at myself. If I look at myself, I might be tempted to do that thing where I flip the video or, and it makes no sense at all because who cares? And then all the, the writing is backwards but I'm gonna look at the camera hole today. I am riding Sans Helmet. Leave a comment below if you think it's appropriate for me to ride Sans Helmet out here on the Katy Trail. Don't be hating. I'm riding with cycling pants. However, they're underneath my, my gym shorts. So leave a comment below if you think that's appropriate for me to wear cycling shorts underneath my gym shorts. I'm gonna take one last look at myself. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Look at that. Okay. Let's uh, get get rolling. Hey Spankers, I'm back here. I'm back out on the Katy Trail, and this time I have my Oakleys on. Maybe you can't tell that I'm just looking right at myself in the camera, so that's cool. You can't even tell if I'm looking at the camera hole or not. I pause to show you the first bridge that you come to when you're riding out of Clinton. It's 4.25 miles from the depot in Clinton and it's the first bridge you come to and i'm sure it's a popular stop i i know myself i appreciate bridges mostly because then you don't have to get your feet wet walking through the water when there's a stream or something and here i am all self-conscious and there's this big tough guy in a monster truck going by probably looking at me and it's like what's that nerd doing anyways here we are uh wow there is an awesome spider web up here Oh man, it is so high. Maybe I'll try to show you. I'm not sure uh, my picture will do justice. All right. See, it's like just suspended out there in like the sky. It's a, it's a sky spider. It's so awesome. I personally love big spider webs. However, I will tell you, I hate riding through the spider webs when I'm riding through the trail usually I'm the first one out here in the morning and I tell you I pick up a lot of spider webs on my face they're trying to catch me but they can't because I'm too big a prey but lots of spider webs get collected on my face and my forehead and in my eyes here comes somebody else down this real road what the heck here see you can't you can't do videos out here and people be driving by gawking at you and Wondering what that nerd's doing. Anyways, I, I have seen on the actual trail, on the trail proper, I only saw one person. And it was this lady walking her dog. And she was fumbling with her phone, trying to find just the right playlist, no doubt. And she dropped it. And it went bouncing like two or three times down the trail. And then, you know, they never hear you when, when you're riding up on them. And I thought maybe her dog was going to bite me, but it, but it didn't. I rode on by. No incident. So we're going to continue uh, our journey. Okay, Spankers, here I am at another bridge along the trail coming out of Clinton. This one is the first one you encounter that's got these uh, steel girders, I-beams, trestles. I don't know. Leave a comment below if you know what these are called. Uh, supports. Anyways. This one is 8.5 miles coming out of Clinton. It's also got the wooden bridge aspect to it. Anyways, I've uh, been getting a lot of comments uh, ever since I revealed that I was wearing gym shorts today. People want to, uh, people were asking me to show more leg. I don't know about that. My legs are pretty skinny. 
So I don't know about showing you some leg, but I tell you what I'll do. I will take off my shirt. I work out. I work out. I work out. I work out. Now I gotta figure out something to do with my shirt. I have left them on the side of the trail and then gotten them on the way back before. Leave a comment below if you think I should just leave my shirt down there and pick it up on the way back. Leave a comment below if you ever tempt fate and rest your phone on the rail of the Katy Trail bridges. Oh look, free camera. Hey Spankers, this is probably the last stop before I roll into the metropolis of Windsor. I stopped on another bridge. Tell you what, I've been getting a lot of comments of people asking me about showing some leg and you know, I was almost convinced, but then I remembered I, I didn't even shave today, so I don't think it's in the cards, I'm sorry. Uh, I know I got the gym shorts on and you'd like me to swing the camera down there, but I uh, just don't think I can make it happen today. I was gonna show you my bicycle. You wanna see my bicycle? Wow, check out that ride. It's a Gavin. You ever heard of a Gavin? I know you haven't. It's a cheap off-off brand Chinese manufactured aluminum cycle with carbon fiber forks, front forks. But say what you want about this bike. I did finish Ironman Louisville on it. So I run with gator skin tires out here on the trail. This stuff, this gravel, this chat, whatever it is, is specifically designed to flatten bike tires. But ever since I've put these gator skins on I've never had a flat not once had a flat with these gator skins out here on the trail don't be hating okay holy smokes I knew they were working on this bridge I didn't know they were tearing the whole thing down so this is 52 that comes into Windsor and uh, that whole bridge is gone let's walk down there dudes all like hey the roads closed you can't walk down there I'm like shut up don't be hating this is like uh, you know one of those scenes from the San Francisco earthquake well I guess it'll be interesting to see where the detour takes me. Casey's doesn't sponsor me, but they should. Boom. Breakfast sandwich. I usually get some hazelnut coffee too. It's like the whole point of the ride. Pretty cool car there. Uh, so there's this group of riders. Let's call them boomers. Heading my way back into Clinton. They got electric bikes. They got e-bikes. I've been thinking about that. I think e-bikes are probably better for the environment. What do you think? thing you see most along the Katy Trail are grain silos. I usually come into Windsor and get me a sandwich at the Casey's, drink a little coffee, and have a nice, nice little moment by myself. But there's this group over here, boomers, and then there's these other people that came up to the depot and they were all getting all up in my business, talking to me and chatting and being friendly. This is so annoying. Just wanted to drink my coffee, you know? Okay, pausing real quick to shoot a little video. I'm having a hard time today. There are a lot of people on the trail this morning. There's this group riding in, there's people going back and forth and I'm having a hard time adjusting. Usually I'm the only one out here. Some guy just stopped me. He missed the Rock Island spur by a mile and a half. I got somebody coming this way, so. And on top of it all, the worst thing is I gotta pee. I gotta pee and normally I can just pee right in the middle of the trail, which the state park advocates because it helps keep the trail moist. But today I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to probably venture off into the foliage and uh, risk poison ivy on my shins. Yeah, I know. Now, now you're going to want to see my shins. Okay, got to go. Do you see what it's come to? I got to pee under a bridge. I couldn't wait. So here I am. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, I think maybe I have a moment alone here. I stopped. It's going to tell you, you know, the Katy Trail is one of the longest, if not the longest state park in Missouri. So long there are actually parts of it that are left unexplored. You're a little bit like the Star Trek Enterprise out here exploring strange new worlds and uh, discovering new life forms or maybe strange new life forms if you've been through Martha's Ville or Trailor you know what I'm talking about but uh, <laughs> actually quite uh, humbling to think that here you are on the Katy Trail and it may not have seen a, another man come through for ages if not millennia okay I see reflections coming so I gotta wrap this up here we go oh my goodness can I get a little elbow room today what's a guy got to do to find some solitude you think you'd come out to a publicly accessible state park and have some time alone but not today you probably missed that just now but I'm telling you how crowded the Katy Trail is today there was a deer right up there crossing over I don't mind the deer I also come across a couple turtles within 25 yards of each other and I don't mind the turtles either the deer nor the turtles get all up in my business so I don't mind that if they just stay out of my business then I'm fine I was thinking more about that guy that stopped me he was asking me if he uh, missed the Rock Island spur 
and uh, he was talking to me and asked me, and I was answering him. And trust me, I was polite as ever. I, I really turned on the charm on that one. But uh, then he does this thing to me. Uh, he's like, hey, Frank, Frank, thank you. Frank, hey, Frank. So, like, I guess I'm, like, standing there going, so the conversation was over when you put the phone to your ear? And then he's like, he's all like, this guy's still standing here. I guess I better give him a thank you. Thank you. You know, that kind of thing. I'm like, all right, you're embarrassed. You missed the Rock Island Trail. I get it. But how long did you expect me to stand there? I didn't know if you had more questions. You know, for all I knew, you were going to be like, how far is Clinton? Are there any services in Windsor? How many pounds of thrust does the Starship Enterprise produce? I don't know. You know, I don't know the answers to some of those questions. Sitting on a bench in the middle of nowhere. That's the other thing I like about the Katy Trail, just in these random locations. There's benches. Leave a comment below on the favorite Spotify playlist you listen to when riding the Katy Trail. So I've listened to two or three this morning. Classical crossover, switched over to some ballads of the 80s or something. Another one, like a discovery mix. Coming back, I've been on the Yacht Rock. I know the Yacht Rock is pretty big right now. You know, I should search, is there a bike ride playlist? I'm gonna search, I'm gonna search if there's a bike ride playlist. Okay, I left my shirt in here. Let's see if it's still there. Ah! Uh -huh, just kidding, JK. There it is, all right. I still gotta carry it back eight and a half miles. All right, you guys won't stop bugging me about my leg. All right, this is on you. This is on you, so fair warning. My legs are too skinny. My legs are too skinny to be seen in public. Probably too white. Okay, here we go. All right, I hope that was enough, because that's all you get. Okay, that's weird. I was just showing you guys my leg, and somebody uh, rode by at the same time, and I felt something. It seems like they stuck something in my shorts. Let me see what we got here. Okay. So we all been asking me below in the comments why do I wear the second shorts underneath the gym shorts? Well, the second shorts have a pad in the bottom area. Let's say the region that's most sensitive to hard, pointy tight seats. But uh, it's nice to wear that down there just for a little bit of pad. Ah, oh, here comes some more people. I can't be talking about sensitive areas on my body when people are riding by. So I'm going to sign out. I'll probably see you again in Clinton. Back in Clinton, made it. 36 miles probably. I had to start and stop my Garmin a couple times because reasons. One other thing I was going to tell you when one of those friendly, chatty, annoying guys was talking to me, he said that he thought the Clinton section was the most boring section of the trail. And boy, comments like that really make my blood boil because I hate it when I agree with somebody so hard. We got to do something about this Clinton section. To be fair, it's from Clinton to Sedalia. Pretty boring. We need to, I think we need to build a trellis over all the uh, open sections and let vines, probably grapevines and other viney plants grow up over it to shade those uncovered sections. And then when grapes start growing, when you're hungry, you can reach up and grab a bunch and just keep on riding. That's my idea. If you got other ideas about how to spice up our section of the trail, let me know. But oh my goodness, those uncovered headwind sunny sections really beat you down. Okay, that was the Katy Trail today. Hope you enjoyed it. I know you did. Professional dad over and out. By the way, I listened to that. Uh, it was called Summer Bicycle or Summer Cycling Playlist. Uh, not one song about bicycles. <laughs>